Hey, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be making a twist on mashed potatoes and french fries because it's a spiral of mashed potatoes that's fried like french fries. Now, naturally the one that I'm making is gonna be a fancy version that'll be topped with braised short rib. So into a pot over medium high heat for about 30 mils of cooking oil. And here I've got about a kilo of short ribs that I'm gonna season on all sides with salt before placing them in the pot and searing them with that oil. Make sure to give them a few rotations to brown them on all sides and try not to crowd the pan, otherwise the meat will boil rather than sear. Once they got some nice color on them, remove them off to the side and we'll throw in half a sliced onion. These will add flavor to the braise, but also turn into some nice caramelized onions at the end. Stir those around and saute them for a few minutes. Then we'll throw in about four cloves of minced garlic. On these large cloves, it's really easy to remove that central stem just by slicing halfway through and peeling it out. Throw those in and saute them till they're fragrant. Then we'll throw in about 60 milliliters of tomato paste. Fry that for a minute to cook out some of the raw flavor. Throw in two or three bay leaves as well as a few sprigs of thyme, and shove those to the bottom of the pot so they can toast for a minute, which should loosen up their oils and help them become more aromatic. Now let's add back in our short rib. Season with a good amount of fresh cracked pepper, and a pinch of salt for good measure. Then we'll add in about 250 milliliters of wine. It doesn't have to be red, it could be white. You could also use beer here. Anything alcoholic should work pretty well, except maybe gin, although that is worth a try. Next, I'll add in about 500 milliliters of chicken stock. Give it a little bit of a stir to mix everything in. Cover it up and transfer it to 175 Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit oven for about three hours. No need to stir, just leave it be, let it do its thing, and it'll come out just fine. And while those are going, go ahead and click that big red button down below. I've got new videos out every week and it would be cool for you to come back and see what's next. Now for the potatoes, I'm gonna make a fancy whipped garlic mash. This is basically my dad's recipe. So yes, I grew up eating fancy mashed potatoes and yes, that probably affected me in some way. But regardless, into a pot, let's throw half a kilo of peeled and diced red potatoes. Cover that up with a couple liters of water. Season it with some big pinches of salt. Give the potatoes a good stir so they don't stick and bring that up to a boil for 20 minutes. Once the potatoes are nice and soft, strain them on out. Then return them to the pot with a full stick of butter. That's about 110 grams for those who don't get their butter in sticks. Season with some freshly ground black pepper, four cloves of minced garlic, and a good handful of grated Parmesan cheese. Now whip those with a hand mixer. And then once the butter has melted and incorporated, add in about 125 milliliters of heavy cream. That's between 30 and 36% in the US, but feel free to use something lighter if you want. This will just make them extra creamy. Continue to whip those until that's all incorporated. Then I'm gonna go in with 30 grams of cornstarch, also known as corn flour in the UK. Basically mashing potatoes don't have that much starch content to them, which is the opposite of what we want for a fry. So we're adding that starch back in, in the form of cornstarch. We'll also add an egg, which will help bind everything together. Keep whipping that until it's smooth. Then we'll transfer it to a plastic bag or a piping bag. And if you're using a plastic bag, then snip off the corner with some scissors so we'll be able to pipe this into our oil. Now into a frying pan over high heat, let's add some oil. It doesn't have to be too much. We don't really have to deep fry this. Just a good two or three millimeters should do fine. And once the oil is up to 190 Celsius or 375 Fahrenheit, go ahead and pipe in your mashed potatoes in a spiral shape. Now this will be really hard at first. You definitely want it to be a tight spiral with each layer touching the next, which you can see I did not do. Also, if your mixture is too wet at first, be sure to add in more cornstarch because that'll help hold it together. I had a few mishaps before I got the right ratio. But as time went on, I was able to get a few good ones out of it. Much harder than it looks, especially when you go to flip it. 
but one thing I learned from my mistake is that those little pieces that fall off are good testers for when it's nice and golden brown on the bottom. So use a little dab of mash to indicate when you should flip, and once it's golden brown, flip it over to the other side and continue to fry until it's nice and crispy. Once it's done, transfer it to a wire rack to cool off. Before plating, topped with a short rib, a little bit of those caramelized onions, and how about a bay leaf for garnish? So this fries are a totally new experience. They've got all the flavor and creaminess of garlic mashed potatoes with a crispy exterior and a fluffy interior. It's pretty wild stuff. <laughs> and just like any buttery mashed potatoes, they go amazingly well with braised meat. This is a killer combination. It's so rich, it's so hearty, and it's a pretty impressive way to put together this dish. So while the actual frying of the potatoes can be a bit of work, I do hope that you try this out. It was a lot of fun to make and I hope you have fun doing it as well. See you guys next time. Cheers.